Now we come to a topic called equipotential surfaces. Okay, the the name is self-explanatory in the sense that equal potential surface surfaces surface having equal potential. Okay, so a surface having the same that is the equal potential at all points on it at all points on it is called equipotential surface is called an equipotential surface I should be writing an should be called an, is, is called an equipotential surface now let us try to understand there is a a point charge here say Q okay now we know the formula for V, V is equal to Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught R, correct? Now as long as R remains the same, the potential remains the same, correct? Correct? Now if I keep R a constant, then around this, there will be a sphere. there will be a sphere around it, right? This looks like a circle, but consider it to be a 3D figure, but consider it to be a 3D figure, okay? So this is actually a sphere. Now at all points on this sphere, the potential will remain a constant, okay? So this becomes an equipotential surface. So this becomes an equi potential surface okay now it will be extremely interesting for you to understand why it is equipotential surface even without going into this formula and then we'll generalize a, a system for equipotential surfaces right so what I do I first of all draw I first of all draw the electric field on this right so this is this is the electric field right so this is the electric field the green ones are the electric field Correct? They are pointing radially outward. Correct? Now try to understand. So, if you look at the equipotential surface, which is a sphere, and these radial fields, you will notice one, one unique thing about it. And what is that unique thing? That, that your electric field lines cut the, the equipotential surface, surface normally at all points, right? So, so I say that I, I make an observation. Observation, I, I, I make an observation that the electric field, the electric field is normal to the normal to the equipotential surface at all points is it not all radius vectors see all radius vectors at this this surface at this point 
at this this the small area which which looks like a plane a very small area that looks like a plane a radially a radial vector that will make an angle of 90 degree at that point okay okay now maybe at some other distance this is also an equipotential surface this is also an equipotential surface but this is also an equipotential surface this is also an equipotential surface but it does not mean that the potential here will be the potential here because the distance is which is which is which is at a higher potential can you tell me the the uh, the, the this one right so if if maybe this is 10 then this is 20 volts say say let's say Q is positive. If Q is a positive charge, if I have not, if I have not written negative, it means it is positive. Okay, it is a positive charge. So a positive charge moving from here to here will have to, I will have to do the work. So the potential energy and hence the potential of the smaller sphere will be higher. Do we understand that? Hmm? We understand that. So, these are two equipotential surfaces. There can be infinitely many potential surfaces, equipotential surfaces that you can draw. Okay. Now, try to understand. Is it a chance that it is something like this? Or will it be for any kind of charge configuration? Try to understand, this sphere, anywhere I move, say, say from here, from a point P, I move to a point, point say Q. From a point P, I move to a point Q. Okay. From P, I move to Q. Now, the potential here is also 20 volts. And here too it is 20 volts. Okay. Now when is that possible? It means that while coming from here to here, I must have done no work. Neither I have done any work, nor any work has been done on me. You understand that? nor any work must have been done on me. So, no work has been done. Correct? If no work has been done in coming from here to here, then, then, then what, ha what has happened? Is there no force? No, there is force. No, there is, there is force. There is force and suppose I am here, then the force is radially outward. Is there no displacement? There is a displacement. Otherwise, how, how, how will I move here? How will I come to a different point Q? So, there has been a force. There has been a displacement. There has been a displacement, right? The displacement is along this. Let's say a small displacement, right? But since they are perpendicular, the work that I do is zero. We, we are not applying any force. No, 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 no. We are applying a force that is perpendicular to the system force. Right. Hmm? Hmm? To, to keep it there. But, but that force will be like this, no? You, you, the force that you are applying to keep it here is this. And your displacement is this. 
technically speaking while moving on the surface you do not have to apply any force why because there is no force that you have to overcome not even friction No, no, but, but, but the force that you are applying to counter that force mm -hmm. is in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. And your displacement is at 90 degree to that. So, F dot S is equal to 0. So, so you try to understand if, if, if that angle was not 90 degree. So, what, what do I say? If the angle made by the field with the equipotential surface with the equipotential surface is not zero is not sorry 90 degree okay it is not 90 degree then there would be a component then there would be a component of the force acting towards <coughs> or against the displacement so that the work done is either positive or negative. Either positive or negative, right? The work done is either positive or negative and due to this the potential will either increase or decrease while moving from P to Q. Correct. Thus, this becomes a conclusion that at every point of the equipotential surface, the electric field has to be normal to it. Get the point? Thus, at every point of the equipotential surface surface the field is normal to the equipotential surface correct correct the field is so it will always happen it is not a chance it is not not specifically for 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 a point charge for any configuration of charge whatever is the field if i ask you to draw an equipotential surface you just keep on moving in a direction so that you are always perpendicular to the field whatever you get will be an equipotential surface okay so say for for a uniform field like this right in a 3d Okay, in a 3D. So, for example, th this the field originates from this whiteboard and goes towards you. Okay, it goes towards you. They are equally spaced. What is the equipotential surface? A, a thing board. like board, right? 
everywhere a plane surface that is absolutely perpendicular to it so planes that are parallel to this board they will become the equipotential surfaces right so so maybe this 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 okay so these planes they'll be they'll be the they'll be the equipotential surface <coughs> right Kind of this, you understand? So, for a field system, for a for a uniform field, field, the equipotential surfaces, the equipotential surfaces are <coughs> planes perpendicular to perpendicular to the electric field at every point but you should understand one thing you should not start treating all the equivalential surfaces as equal to each other so this will have maybe maybe 20 volts then this will have 30 volt and as you start going to the left the the potential on on the whole of the equipotential surface that goes up right because the charge is doing work and moving from one to another but yes, as long as you keep on moving one of these planes, then the potential remains the same. We get the point. In that case, the potential remains the same. But that's what. F dot S is, we are bothered about F dot S. W <coughs> is actually F dot S. W is F dot S, which is F into S into cos theta. Now, this is there, this is there, but this has gone to 90 degree when you are moving on an equipotential surface. We get the point. We understand? Fine.